Now this recipe is super healthy. Isn't that nice? And it's from this book by Gwyneth Paltrow, of all people, the New York Times best-selling author. And it says, delicious, easy recipes that will make you look good and feel good. Am I gonna look good? <laughs> In about 10 minutes, I expect to look absolutely perfect. Well, she says it. Anyway, I think I don't think she means instantly. I think if you if you eat the whole recipe book, it's a good book, it's a good book, there's some nice recipes. And this quinoa granola is a ripper. Really enjoy it. And so what I've got here, and it's important, quinoa flakes. So not the normal quinoa, quinoa flakes. Certified organic, now we like that. So what I want is about one and a half cups of those, right, into a big bowl. A quarter of a cup of olive oil and a quarter of a cup of honey. All right, so mix it in really well, just like that. And then what I have is a tray with some baking paper. I've just oiled the tray and put the baking paper on it and just spread it out. And what we do then is put it into the oven, 180 degrees, and we cook it, just giving it a, a turn every now and then and a bit of a mix up until it's golden and crunchy. 180 takes about 10, 15 minutes. But it looks good, it's nice and golden, isn't it? Quite pleased with that, so that's fine. And then we add some dried fruits. What I've got here, figs, some apricots, dates, and some raisins. And I've just pitted the dates, of course. And then I have just diced them quite well. And I've got some fresh fruit here, nectarines, and some strawberries. Use any fresh fruit. I've also got some raspberries. And we just mix that up, remembering that it had that honey and the olive oil in it, so it's reasonably moist. Actually, I'll just have a taste because it may need a little bit more honey, you never know. Nah. Oh, that's nice. I think it could do with a squirt of honey over the top. Just tasting it is really lovely, but just could do with a little bit more sweetness. And a good dollop of yogurt. And on top of that, maybe just some lovely fresh figs, because I just happened to find some figs at the market. Gwyneth Paltrow, I don't think you've done too bad. Actually, I don't reckon I've done too badly either. That is delicious. Let's think about something to go with it. Now, if you're having that with breakfast, I reckon a really nice smoothie or just a really good vegetable juice, you know, with beetroot, carrot, celery, a couple of other things like that. But I'm having it for brunch, so what I'm gonna have is a lovely Australian cider, which will be great. So a pear cider to go alongside it for brunch, a juice or a smoothie for breakfast. Well, actually, you could have a cider. I don't mind people have Bloody Marys at breakfast time, so why can't they have a pear cider? You'll enjoy that. It is fun, it's healthy, and it's from a film star. That always makes it better, doesn't it?